everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Vulcanoids. It's a steampunk open-world survival game. It's got, like, a story or some quests and stuff, which is kind of neat. Eventually, it'll have multiplayer, but for now, I think it's single-player. And effectively, you're making, like, a big driller base and going over, all over, around, wherever you want. I don't know. Uh, I've been following the developer for this for oh, quite a while. Usually, I'm just totally uninterested in Hello. Uh, let's see, how's the frame rate? Frame rate is good. That's such a good sign. Usually, I'm uninterested in uh, open-world survival games, but the concept of it being, like, really steampunky? Yeah, I, I can get behind that. Yep, sup, cat. Sup, Captain? Uh, okay, there we go. Craft drill ship core. Good day, sailor. Before we can continue with the expedition, you have to construct a device. Follow the given objectives, and you'll soon be piloting your own drill ship. Alright, get a ship upgrade to the player inventory. This guy is almost T-posed. Okay, get all the needed materials. Volcano eruption in 10 minutes. Wait, hold up. That feel... Uh, mm, okay, leave sub. How, how, how do leave? Okay, that's storage. Where's exit? We've got that. Oh, I see. We could bet. Oh, oh, he's on a boat. Okay. Two for the pickaxe. So yeah, this is probably going to be kind of generic until we get into this. So mine copper, mine coal. Easy enough. I like the fact that it gives you kind of a quest system to rely on. That's an easy enough way to work with it. Copper, scrap metal. How how do I? Oh, I just donk it, and there we go. Donk. I think I might have to turn my own music back on. Donk. 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 Give me. Okay, so I need 20 of this stuff. Now, it looks like I can just kind of mine this until it's done. Yeah, there doesn't look to be any music, so... I'm just going to assume there's no music, and let's just listen to my own. Because I don't want to just listen to bird music forever. There we go. Okay. What do we got? More copper? Cool. So what else do I have? I've got double barrel shotgun and I got a wrench. Can't build anything. What's this? Probably medkits? Probably medkits. Yeah, I'm, I'm conf confused and concerned about the volcano exploding. If we're lucky, that's like nowhere near us. It'd be hilarious if there's just a time limit and I have to, I have to get everything uh, dealt with before the volcano explodes and like escape. But I don't know. Okay, so two to unequip it. Use submarine systems for production. I wonder if you get to build a sub in this game. So, the steampunk stuff, the, the buildings will not, not look really cool. The environment needs work. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm i always a big fan of style over, like, realism. And it feels like uh, these textures are kind of aiming for realism, missing the mark a little bit. Oh well. It's not a big deal, it's just like... I don't know, I see all of this stuff and I'm like, man, if only the rest of the environment looked this good. So go to the storage module, click on it, okay. So, we gotta toss them in, probably. I did go to the... oh, deploy storage module. Okay. L key. Quest window contains all active quests. You can decide to abandon a quest, hide it, enter. Got it. Okay, go to power module on the ceiling. Click it with left mouse button or E. Deploy the refinery. Okay, so we gotta deploy power and refinery. Refinery is over here. Oh, that's a refinery station. This is the refinery module. Completely different thing. Okay. Click the menu button on refinery station. Okay, there we go. So we can make copper ingots. So you can actually tell it to work on it in, uh, indefinitely, which is kind of nice, actually. How many... How many things is this going to make? Oh, it's saying no. Okay, let's hold. Let's take... Okay, I think we're done. Item missing. I'm confused. Uh, is it in my inventory? No, we got one. Okay, deploy the production module. Go to menu. So we can do sh Okay. So click the menu button on the production station components tab. Produce all listed components. So we need copper tubes, copper plates. One, two, four of these. 
Okay. Two bolts. Okay, produce ship core, breach replacement, production module T1, uh, some modules. So... Okay, click the menu button, production, upgrades tab. Okay. So we need ship core. So I got that. We need two re breach replacements. And then we want to go to the modules tab. I actually like this tutorial. It's kind of hand-holdy, but it's not bad. So we want to get a refinery. And we want to get production T1. Oh, I see. You oh, wait, no. There, there's one, one thing in Q. Or, nope. So clicking on one stops production of the other. So that's good to know. Okay, you can skip this message by pressing enter. Energy is needed to have production running. Look at the core stats panel. Energy indicator shows available points. Balance indicator shows the difference between input and output. If you have no power plants opened, energy will go down and balance will be negative. If enough power plants are opened, energy will go up and balance is positive. Okay, so currently we're gaining energy. Every open module occupies a slot. Or slots indicator shows you available number of slots. If you reach the limit, you won't be able to open any more modules. You have to close modules to open others. Okay. So, close the refinery module. And close the production module. Is that... Yeah, it's that one. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. Uh, why am I stuck? Okay. Back up the stairs. Problem solved. So, we've closed them. Energy bar is full. Balance has no negative input. You can skip this by pressing enter. Okay. More slots are available. If we open the modules, they'll become occupied again. You can skip this message by pressing enter. So pick ship core from storage. Breach and other stuff. Okay. Well done. Now let's put the core to good use. Visit him for objectives. We have received a distress, distress call of a heavily damaged drill ship that will soon surface near our location. Use this to our advantage and claim the drill ship. Am I just going to go, like, merc some dudes and take their drill ship? Because if so, I am down. Wait for surfacing, you say? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Why... Why is everything red underwater? I... You know what? I might be sinkable. What's that noise? It sounded like a bear. I'm just gonna mine, mine copper scrap metal. Why is it just sitting here, here as a node? Who knows? Can I, can I do anything with these places? No, it actually doesn't look like I can go up the stairs at all. Wow. Okay, so these these buildings are, are fake. They are fake and they are lies. Oh. Drill ship's already here. I thought we had to wait. Hello, this is a boarding party? Is anyone here? Is everyone dead? The answer is quite dead. Well, it's all mine then. Okay, drill ship has been successfully claimed. Good work. Now you're the captain of your own vessel. Contact the captain through the radio on the drill ship. Uh, is it this? No, that's that's it. Ship core to claim it. Um, where's the radio? So volcano eruption in two minutes. That's storage. That's work table. That's core slots. Where the dunk is the radio? Oh, there it is. I was looking at it. Repair drill ship. The drill ship is heavily damaged. You have to fix it first. Before using it to its full potential. Gather materials and use submarine, the submarine's devices to construct needed equipment. Main objective. Place modules, door window, production, and refinery on the drill ship. Okay, so equip this. Repair. So we've got to get... It says hide from eruption. Wow. Okay. So we gotta place the production module and a refinery module. I guess let's do production. So I can't do much with that. At least we get the production. We have the refinery. Is that a ref no, that's storage. Okay, well, unfortunately we gotta go make some more breach breach repairs. How many how many breaches are we looking at? It looks like...
Looks like this place got messed up. So it looks like we need, what, three? Three plus to fix all the walls. So let's work on that first. These things are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be, but it kind of makes sense. So maybe use the sub to dive. I think we're okay. I, well, if I get, oh, there's the volcano right over there. Uh... Oh, yep. Eruption is coming. You have to save the drill ship. Run back and order it to go underground. Okay. So we, we gotta go down. Go down! Well, hopefully all that surface damage does not... put me in a bad way. Do we just get to watch? I hope we get to watch. Ah, damn it. Volcano, lava sources. Uh, periscope. Whoa. safe to go to the surface now if you want. Order the drill ship to go to the surface. You sure? I'm not sure if I immediately believe you. I think I'm just gonna stay underground for a little while. This looks pretty crap. Why did we come here? Oh god, this thing erupts every 20 minutes? Why are we here? This is all a terrible idea. Ah. I'm gonna go find another island. With... With, like, not garbage. And death. The resources, I'd assume, wander. Oh, no. You are absolutely correct about that. But, like... Uh... I guess it is vulcanoids, as in, like, volcano. So, maybe maybe we're just people used to this sort of thing. Maybe it clears out in a matter of, like, minutes and just... Uh. Anyway, so we want to go see if I can make some more recovery things, maybe. Because uh, I want to fix up those walls first. Every 20 minutes. How's there any grass? How's there any anything? I know, like... The amount of ash around here is not good for you. It looks like it respawns the uh, local materials, though. And yeah, how do you get a periscope through solid rock? Uh, through the magic of Unity ghost camming. So this game is eventually going to have multiplayer. It currently doesn't. Uh, it's, it's currently in early access. It'll get multiplayer at some point along the way. Uh, which actually looks like it'd be pretty fun. Look at the production station. So we want consumables. Copper bolts, copper plates. Okay. Okay, so I don't have any more copper ingots. Online storage items not available. So we probably have to actually put the copper ingots back from my inventory for the time being. Okay, uh, consumable, so I need three of these. So I need three bolts, three plates. What else do we have? Shotgun, grenade, health pack, figured as much. Ammo, module. Herb module, refinery, research, tier one. I need sulfur tubes, though, so that's right out. I've already got storage. Periscope. Most of these I can probably work on in my own base. Oh. Oh, we didn't we didn't actually get the remaining um I was kinda hoping I could queue those up. Oh, and I don't want them in my inventory. I want them in here so I can actually make the repair things. No, what am I doing? Why did I do that? I don't know. So is the drill free roam or node-based travel? I actually don't know. Uh, let's see. 
Let's hope that's self-sufficient, at least for the time being. What I'd like to do is uh, effectively not have to come back to the sub every time I want to make anything. And you don't have to. I kind of hope they add more intensive survival mechanics. Make this like being on the metro surf, uh, metro surface. Oh, ooh, that'd be interesting. Speaking of metro, doesn't Metro Exodus come out like a month? It comes out sometime in February. I'm really stoked for that, personally. I hope I'm not like in the midst of moving when it happens. Uh, you know, I just realized. I need to make a door. Well, we've got some amount of stuff in here. Does it only have a couple of slots? Why does it only have a couple of slots? Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's got, it's got plenty. Let's see. So we do have a refinery tier one. Okay, so that's the refinery station. I guess I'll just put it there for the time being. Okay, so first and foremost, I gotta make a door. Production production station. Uh, structure. Oh, no active module selected. Let's turn that on. That's my drain. Like, power sucks. Or more specifically, I have no power. Okay. Deploy power module. Oh. That's the power module. Okay, so now that we've got that, can I can I fix that? I got to get more repair. It looks like okay. So it wants me to produce copper bolts, copper plates. I got some. I forgot you can't queue these things up. I really wish you could, actually. Okay, so it wants me to make more breach replacements. Unfortunately, I already made a bunch. So that's going to, uh... Well, I guess we'll just jam it in storage. Okay, and we gotta produce a door module. Oh, it's a module. I guess it makes sense. So storage is shared. Across your entire base, as far as I can tell. At very least. I pick up items from storage. That bleh, ah, ooh, hi. Okay, storage is there. Okay, replace breach ceiling, replace side breach walls. Uh, let's see, so we want to do wrench. So the walls are good. How do I... Oh, okay, I can deconstruct that. Honestly, I'll put the refinery there. We'll just keep this as the door. Interesting. So every time I do this, it actually spits out like an extra side part. Well, this is neat. Okay, is the ceiling still busted? Because last I checked, the ceiling had some problems. All right, talk to the captain. Through the radio. 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 Okay, there we go. So repair storage module. The mo storage module on the side of the drill ship is damaged. Produce and re uh, use a repair tool to fix it. That's easy enough. Production station, so we want to do components. Well, it's pretty easy. Just produce the same things as usual. And consumable, so we want a module repair kit. Storage is over here. I'm going to remember these things eventually. Okay, so... Oh, no, it's the damaged storage thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a couple of, like, hiccups here and there. Okay, so it's done. What else do we want to do? Okay, power plant. Build power plant module. Before processing any further, gather enough coal to fuel the drill ship systems. Power plants use coal to generate energy. 
Needed for all production. Refinement and research. So place coal power plant T1 on the ceiling of the uh, drill ship. Well, first and foremost... Yeah, we're gonna... Wait, are drill ship segments that easy to make? I guess so. So I need coal power plant. I need copper plates, copper tubes. I guess these are all the tier one things. Which probably... Okay, use the target selector sector to choose new travel coordinates. So it doesn't look like I can control uh, or drive my Vulcan... Or my, my digger machine. I have to uh, tell it where to go using the menu. Which I guess is entirely fair. Quest finish. This should be enough for now, but once you expand production modules, make sure to add more power plants. If you ever hear the sound of a bell, it means the drill ship is low on energy. Probably pay attention to how much fuel I have. Energy that. Core slots are good. Or is it one of those that we don't actually have to keep them fueled up? We just have to build one of these things. I honestly don't know, actually. That's an interesting question. Okay, so build storage module. Getting short on storage space. Build one more storage module. That's easy enough. Okay, so storage requires copper tube plates and a chest. So that's different. Chest. So copper tube, copper plate, two copper plates, and then one of everything else. Item missing. Oh, we had a copper ingots. Well, I should have... Oh, no, I don't have any copper ore. All right. Raw resources. Where art thou? I wish to go mining. Graboid some stuff. Let me wander forever. Wow, this place got crappy for a while. No, it doesn't look like I can do anything to that. Okay, that's some copper ore. So I'm actually going to have to go looking for these things. But yeah, I got real green in a hurry. And then the volcano is going to erupt in about six minutes. Then it's going to get then it's going to get way worse again. Huh. This island honestly concerns me. I don't think I want to be here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'm probably not going to ca get caught right out. But yeah, I... I feel like uh, the volcano timer. I I feel like the volcano should be something significantly more like catastrophic. Because it only goes off once every five hours, and you really have to like be prepared for it. Because if you're not, it's just going to it's just going to wreck your your drill ship. Because currently, the 20 minute timer just makes it into this like goofy event and whatnot. Like, I almost feel like there should be no timer uh, at top. Uh, but wander resources, eh. But like, how cool would it be, there's no timer, you have no idea when it's gonna go off, when, when it's gonna happen. And so, you have to kind of constantly like, keep watch and maybe you can put down some like, really basic, um, some really basic, like, geological survey things to give you a vague idea. And then eventually, like, you can tech up to having a, a module that says, uh, you know, by the way, it's going to be in about five minutes. A variable vo volcano intensity. Islands with rare stuff. Longer timers, but must, much more cataclysmic eruptions. Yeah, potentially. I don't know. It's just right now, it's just like, uh, oh, it's going to, volcano explodes on Tuesday. Okay. But, you know, lock some of the, uh, lock this information behind a, uh, a tech tree. And I think it'll actually make things a lot more interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna keep mining for a bit. We'll do more base repair and production when we're away. I 
also feel like, uh, as much as I like the drill ship as, like, having it immediately, I think, I think it, they give it to you too fast. Like, I almost feel like the drill ship should be the dream. And you get it pretty quick, but, like, not immediately. So you're, you're slowly, like, you make, like, a static base. And that gets wrecked by volcan the volcano, especially if you're, like, in the wrong location. Uh... And then by, uh, eventually you get the ability to do, to get the base to submerge. Uh, you know, maybe after the first or second, uh, you know, major eruption or something like that. Yeah, so higher research tech lets you get detection, uh, so you can be more accurate on the for forecast. Yup. Because, like, I think that would, I think that would be, uh, a cooler way of, like, making it immersive, maybe? Or... Giving players, I, I hate saying like padding out the game, but like it feels like I've already been given, uh, I've already been given the uh, the Cadillac, and I haven't even taken my driver's test yet. But I don't know. I want like a really crappy base that effectively I have to, uh, I have to figure out how to deploy it on, uh, not deploy it underground, but like get it to hide underground. Uh, so that it doesn't get wrecked by lava and ash and stuff. And you have to get, like, air filters uh, to keep y yourself from dying. And, like, just basic equipment to uh, to filter it out so it's not, like, you don't just get super poisoned. What the he shit are these things? Hey, you, creature. The schmutz are you. Come back. Ooh, sulfur ore. Never mind. Inventory is full. They seem uninterested in me, which is good. Okay, so let's go back and start working on things. Let's let's keep working on on this. I do appreciate it though. I I like the idea of making a mobile base and it looks pretty sweet. It also looks like you can upgrade it fairly far. Which, like, has some interesting connotations. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, so I'm effectively... What I'm gonna want to do is probably spend the next, like, uh... While just making a long, like, storage train. Oh, they did want me to make, a, a new storage... Base. Uh, did I... What was I even working on? Did I make the chest? I'm assuming I, I hadn't made the chest yet. Okay, and then we want module storage tier one. Oh, right. It's in storage. This place is getting pretty cramped. All right. Oh, we should probably go down. Let's see, put it upstairs. It actually doesn't work upstairs. Uh, those walls are, uh, I guess too thick. Okay, so where's, the periscope's up here. So we're gonna watch it from the beginning this time. The other thing is that would actually make it pretty cool would be variable, um, variable explosions because like we're gonna get the the mushroom cloud again here but like it'd be kind of neat if there are a couple of different types you know the really like catastrophic one actually how cool would it be if, to some degree, uh, I'm not gonna say, like, make it a roguelike mode, necessarily, because I think that'd be, 
that'd be kind of boring. But um, actually have. Let's see. Uh, we should probably look at the refinery. I don't have any copper. I don't have any copper ore. What? I got boatloads. What are you doing? Oh, the refinery is not on. Or, no, we can't do any of this while we're down below. Okay. Um, but this would be a lot harder, and I don't think it would be a good idea. But it would be kind of cool if you could actually have it in such a way that, like, the some of the islands just get totally wrecked uh, while you're doing, uh, you know, they get totally wrecked by the explosion. I've got plenty of energy. Okay. So we want to do production. No, 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 no. We want to we get the refinery. Might as well just make him ad infinitum. Okay, so what do I need to make a ship core? Energy and slot count. After being placed into ship's core, upgrade slot. Engine one. Drill ships move. Higher level engines allow you to add more segments to the drill ship. Okay, and there's also a drill ship segment. How many do I... Well, it's probably going to be covered in the tutorial. So... I guess we'll find that as we go along. Let's drop these off. Uh, let's see, we've got the repair segments and the module repair kit, which I can just kind of leave there for a little while. Anything else? Got plenty of ammo. Uh, I guess let's go ca call the captain. Build turret module. Once you travel further, there's a high risk. Cogs will try and destroy your drill ship. Make sure you can defend it by building a turret module. Once turret module is uh, deployed, it will automatically shoot at enemy units. Make sure there's always available turret ammo and online cargo. That is... that's a good point. I don't think I have enough space for this, though. Because, yeah, the door module takes up to um, every side. Like, my walls are actually completely filled, so I gotta, I gotta get a bitter, bigger ship. I guess let's start with the obvious. Let's try and make... Um, Let's just try and make this longer. And if that doesn't work, maybe try and upgrade our core. Okay, so well, that builds. Welcome to Schmutztown. Uh, I really like that word. It confuses people, but I really like that word. So maybe turret's a ceiling module. That is a good point. Could be. Okay, a lot of sulfur. I really want to kill one, one or two of these guys, so we should probably go tr test that out. Ow. Okay. So, combat is awkward. What do you drop anything? It does. They straight up just drop, like, uh... Build resources. Or base resources. Health packs, a work table. Alright. Heck yeah. Let's just grab a bunch of sulfur ore while we're here. It's tempting to just jump dump into uh, jump into the lava, but I think that's not kosher. I, I can just break him. That's neat that they actually like break into bits. I wonder if they are, uh, eventually are planning on making these guys like procedurally destroyable so you can shoot legs and arms off. Because if so, I, I hope so. That'd be fun. But I want to go check out this building. It looks like we've got some more of these dudes. We've still got plenty of ammo. And judging by how this game handles resources, we're probably going to be fine resource-wise uh, to just constantly create ammo. Hopefully they diversify. Later? Maybe? I don't know. I do wish that you could actually see the, uh... Like... I'm just gonna be, like... Commentating over things because... I know devs like to watch these this stuff. Open cold power modules are... Oh! 
Did it just automatically upgrade it? It did. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm healing. Wondering about that. What does this guy have? Binary station, copper scrap metal. We don't need this many health packs for sure. Let's just grab them. Actually, it looks like killing these dudes is a good idea. Considering everything. Uh, but I wish you could actually see the, uh, the cogs. I think that's what they're called. Uh, doing stuff instead of just running around like, well, like they have no actual AI. And just shooting at you when you get near. It'd be interesting if you could actually see them, like, carrying away resources. Like, these copper scrap metal nodes. Uh, you'd actually see them start, like, running for them, for example. And start, like, harvesting stuff before... Uh, you know, after every... Um... So what do we get rid of? I don't need this much. Um... Like, after every every eruption, they emerge from wherever they were, and they start trying to uh, snag resources, too, so you have to kind of compete with them on every... every, uh... Ow. On every, uh... eruption cycle, they, they, you know, pop out and are like, ah, Try and go after you. Those away. I don't know. Ideas. Okay. Uh, what do I not need? Probably this ammo. I can make more. Let's go back. So, did this actually get longer? Because if so, that'd be lovely. Oh. Oh, I see. No? What happened? What happened? So that's finished. Does it just get deployed? So I'm kind of curious about this. Oh. I guess I need all of those. Weird. Those stack. My inventory. Hopefully we get... Oh! Okay. Inventory up... Up... Grades. Um... Chip core, engine one, drill one, tracks one, hull one. Other upgrades. Modules will be deployed when built, but... Did it deploy a module? It said I'm running low on energy, but... Did anything change? This is still super cramped. Oh. Well, it wants me to refine sulfur. So let's, uh... Let's start by refining sulfur. Okay, if I turn that off. Okay, so I can disable that. Okay, so now we're now we're getting some power. I'm Oh, it's because all of my coal is was in there. That's what that's what was going on. Because there was no fuel, it couldn't do anything. Yeah, fuel energy one. So that is that is an actual thing we're gonna have to worry about is is running out of coal as we go along. That makes I understand. I was really confused. Okay, so we can't make any more of those. What about this? Okay, so let's redeploy the production module. I understand now. Okay, so we want to do turret module. It wants some more plates. 
and produce turret ammo. Okay, produce the turret module. Okay, it's over here. And we're actually full up on inventory space, so I should probably take that a bit more seriously. What the? No. Drill ship sidewall. Oh. Uh, uh, er. Okay, so I, I straight up need... I need more space, so we gotta figure out how to make this bigger. Oh. Is this just a side... Oh, so that's, that's one of the chests that I put down. Okay, so why don't we actually grab the repair kits? Things that don't need to be... Because these are online storage. So this I can fill up with the repair kits. Just fine. Same thing with the work table. And I can do another chest later. So how do we do the drill ship segment? Because I don't want to do a turret module because I can't do that yet. What quest do we have? Can I... Can I talk to this guy? Captain! Captain, how do I... Ah, Captain... Jesus. Well, actually... I have, I have space for a turret module. Okay. So now that we're done with that, I can get another chest there. Perfect. Put this away. So this place has gotten more cramped, but that's fine. Prepare for an attack. Before we can start the attack... First lava source, we have to produce equipment to stand a chance against the enemy defenses. Produce grenades, medkits, and ammunition, and take them with you on the next objective. Five grenades, two medkits, and some shotgun slugs. Well, I still haven't figured out how to expand my ship. We'll work on that. See, maybe if you put it in storage and then click on it, it'll upgrade. Maybe? Uh, did that work? Oh, drill ship segment can only be... Uh... Drill ship segment can only be, uh... Deployed underground. Dive, dive! I guess that's... That's... I guess it makes sense. I am I'm just running around just doing random objectives right now and you know what that's that's fine I don't know why this game's making me incredibly hungry uh let's see it looks like eventually I'm gonna have to tear this thing up so why don't we why don't we actually tear it up preemptively because put that there I believe once I get the extra nodes. Okay, object, no, upgrades. Object. Bam. What? Oh. Okay, so I got a drill ship segment upgraded. So hopefully we'll have. Hopefully it's big. Hey, there we go. I've got a. I've expanded my uh, drill ship in here. I wonder if I can make another one of those. I don't know. Anyway, let's go back up. So now, now my, uh, now my thing's, now my thing's bigger. Eventually. Yep, here we go. Yeah, I wonder if these cutscenes are kind of, like, pre-animated. Probably. It's a shame that you actually, I, I hope we get to the point where I actually can do these without, like, a cutscene. So you can actually be on the ship when it's going up, so it's suddenly everything just gets confusing. Okay, so I got some extra space, which is good. So now we can work on the rest of these. Uh, specifically, let's get a research module. I should probably get another uh, turret as well. I figure if we have one on each side... We'll be okay.
I'll work on that. I don't need another refinery station. I gotta put these things away so they're not in my... Oh! It's because they're in my inventory. And the modules themselves are actually here. 